I'm not chauvinist. I'm not misogynist. I'm not sexist. But you see, if you drop your father's name to answer the name of your husband, you are bound to be submissive to him. Mm, now we know where all this is coming from. The root of all this, now we are getting it. May we not have in-laws or father-in-laws or brother-in-laws with this type of a cake mentality. Now we can get the root of everything. So, Father Pet Edoche, as old as he is, as wise as he seems, he assumes and we feel he is, he still believes in all this difficult way of marriage, this archaic mentality way of marriage. Because a woman answers a man's name, she's supposed to be submissive. Do you know what is submissive? Do you know what kind of submissiveness he's talking about? It is the kind of submissiveness they are trying to impose to our Queen May. You the same kind of submissiveness that is making our Queen May not to be able to get out of that marriage. Because in this their family meeting, they have been always brainwashing her, telling her that there is no way you are going to leave this marriage. In as long as you have answered a doce, there is no way you can just go and walk out of this marriage. You will always be in the marriage. You have to be submissive. Submissiveness is something that the Edoches have always tried to impose in all their wives. You've seen it. Even the Papete Edoche's wife, Mrs. Barrister Josephine, we saw her, how she was. Very calm. She did not even utter a word. That is all what they want for a woman. For a woman to just be in a house, nothing more, and cater for the children. If the man does something wrong, the woman doesn't have right to talk, to scold, or to air her opinion. This is what they believe in submissively. This is what they believe to be a good woman. For the fact that Queen May has come out to say what she feels, they feel she is being rebel. She's been very open that they don't want this kind of woman in their house even though she is trying to air herself she is trying to air her mind her opinion to the world to know that she is not in agreement of what you is trying to subject her into but still her the edochees don't want to reason with her the edochees are being this block this barrier they don't want to accept that queen may wants to live they can't accept it they feel that we may supposed to be submissive to your edoche throughout the rest of her days and it is not going to be like this because things have changed pet edoche papet edoche with all due respect and with much love and respect we have for you it is very very sad that you believe that because you married her, you married a woman, a woman is into your home, answering, bearing your son's name. You're supposed to answer, you're supposed to agree, you're supposed to accept, you're supposed to subdue, you're supposed to tolerate anything your children, your male children in that aspect, do to them. We can see what our Queen May is passing through. Now we are getting the root of all this. The Chai, Queen May, this is going to be very difficult for you, our Queen. Hi, May. May, this is going to be very difficult. We don't know how long this is going to take, but we can hear and we can see and we can listen from the head of the Edoches what he feels, what he understands to be a married woman. You're supposed to be submissive because you are bearing Edoche. For the fact that you are bearing this Edoche, this is a very, very heavy burden on you, Queen May. They will not allow you to air your mind, your feeling. They will not allow you to even go out of their family because they think and they believe that you belong to them because they've married you. You're supposed to be submissive to them forever and ever. And you has air. It has offended you. But still at that, they expect you to be submissive. All what you have been doing out there, he is doing it to you still. We are seeing what is displaying these days on social media. We are seeing how it's going up and down with your, Judy Austin. We are seeing all what he's doing. But still, the Edoches are expecting you to be this woman submissive. 
You are not born to complain. You don't have right to complain. You don't have right to come out to say your mind. You don't have right to say what you feel. You don't have right to explain to the public what you want to do. You don't have right to do anything just to be submissive because you are married to Eddie Edochies. It's so sad that Papet Edoche can come out and say this, that because a woman is bearing the surname of a man, she is born to be submissive. So that means our Queen May, because she is answering your Edochi, she is born to be submissive. Even though Yul is doing anything that she doesn't like, everything that she doesn't like, Yul has gone astray. Yul has not been respecting her. Yul has embraced polygamy. He has gotten another family. Still at that, they expect you to be submissive. Still at that, they don't want you to say your mind. They don't want you to talk to the public, to the world. They don't want you to speak. They don't want you to write any letter. You don't want you to state what you want. They don't want anything like that. They want you to be calm, quiet, silent, to bear all the pain inside you. The Edochies believe that because you are married to an Edochie, you are born to be under them. You cannot speak. You cannot say your mind. You cannot say anything without the consultation of your husband. You cannot say anything that will be against your husband. You cannot go out and say what you really feel inside there because you're supposed to be a submissive woman. It is very, very sad. Your Edoche, your family, it is very, very sad that you believe that a woman is born to be submissive. If you have done this, but Edoche, to your wife, it's your wife. You can do whatever you feel. But Queen May is from another angle she believes and she has other mentality she doesn't believe in being calm she doesn't believe in polygamy she doesn't want to be silenced she doesn't want to anybody to silence her voice in as much as you are trying all of you the edoches to try to silence our queen may because we are starting seeing it that queen may wants to air her feelings she wants to talk to the masses she wants to talk to the public she wants to explain herself but you are not giving her the chance to do that even when you've seen that your son yole doche has taken this woman here this judy austin double decker you still want our queen may to be submissive you still expect her not to air her feeling you still expect her not to say how her heart is heavy the grievances of her heart not to express it out there but she should keep quiet and be a woman because just she's bearing a doche what is this in this modern world papete doche why are you expecting our Queen May not to say what she feels? Why are you expecting our Queen May to keep silent, to keep quiet, to keep calm, to not air herself, to not explain herself, to not express her feelings out there, to not tell the public what she is passing through? We are seeing her. She is looking very sad. By the day, she is not looking bright. Why are you guys trying to calm, silent her? Why is your, your son doing all this? And still at that, you want Queen May to be silent. For all the respect we have for you, for being the wise man that we've always seen you, a traditionalist, but for you to have this archaic mentality, that because a woman has entered into your house and bears your surname, she is bound not to speak out, not to talk to the public, not to accept anything that comes from outside, but any everything that comes from inside. That means the husband can do anything because he's the husband. He's supposed to accept it because he's supposed to be submissive. You can get 20 wives. Queen May is supposed to be submissive. You can go anywhere, do anything. Queen May is born to be submissive. It's supposed to be that calm, that quiet, that very, very silent woman that nobody will know anything about her because you've seen that Queen May did not accept this part. She did not accept your path. She did not accept your rule. She has come out to let the public know her mind, what she feels, irrespective of all the oppression she's getting from you, from left, right, center, every corner. You are trying to oppress our Queen May for her not to say her mind. Her heart is heavy. Her heart is heavy. She is sad. She is deeply sad because this is not what she bargained for. This was not what she signed for. This was not the agreement she agreed with your Edoche, your son, when she got married to him. She never agreed on one day your Edoche getting another wife. She never agreed to this. In because of this, she's not going to be submissive. She's not going to keep calm. She's not going to be silent. She is not going to allow any of the edoches to step on her because just she just married to you. She just married to your son. She just have your son name. She's just bearing an edoche. If you don't really love her again in your house, allow her. 
to go. Allow her to have peace. Allow her to accept what she believes in. Allow her to have a better life. Papete Doche, we strongly believe that had it been it was your only daughter that all this is happening to her, you would have looked at things in the other way around. But because it's not your daughter, that is why you can say openly now that she's supposed to be submissive. Had it been it was your only daughter that was passing through all this, the things would have been different. You would have said things differently. You would have seen it in a different point of view. Yes, but if that is not your daughter, you don't feel it that way. You just come out to say that she's supposed to be submissive because she is married to an Edochi. All my gang gang, my legit Queen May team one, group one, lovers of Queen May, I will be drawing my curtains here. Let's continue all this down in the comment section. Let us share our thoughts and opinion. In case you don't know who is speaking, this is Jessie Queen. And in this channel, we do videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all to the moon and bye-bye.